Hi Pisces! Welcome to my channel, we're doing your reading. How are you? I already got the Palo Santo going on. It's almost dead. <laughs> okay. How are you? So this is just a temporary setup because we do have other projects. It's me, you guys can see my face at night because that one, the studio for that one is set up and ready. Just the other setup is done. You know, the personal reading with Sal, so make sure you tune into that. Um, so that's, uh, you know, you see me there, okay? It's still me. Hello. Okay, you see that? I put my face. Okay. Um, so this is going to be you as far as, uh, what do you call this, uh, reading. Which one are we reading? It's for the Divine Feminine um, and then the Masculine is in the Extended. How are the Pisces? Uh, I'm not sure if Venus is still in Virgo. How's the relationship, partnership energy? How is it? Tell me. Okay. It depends also if I want to use this deck. Normally I use that, this two, this two, and I just put this as a backup. Okay. Just like when you're dating, you always have to have a backup. That's what I say. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. There is no backup for dating because why you're dating anyway. <laughs> Let's get your planetary um, pouch first. Let's see what planet we are going to be looking at for today. This is available in our website. The planetary pouch, you get one, and you get Mars. Okay, so this is red jasper, very grounding actually. Uh, so this is the crystal for you, and I put it here. Okay. Um, oh, Mars is in retrograde actually. It, it was in Pisces, then it moved back to Aries. Interesting, get this, okay. <laughs> so it was with you, so you had a lot of passion, but it's in and out until December. Not in and out, it goes back. Uh, it doesn't go reverse. Planets don't go reverse. It just goes closer to the planet, farther from the sun. That's what retrograde is. So retrograde, it's not going reverse. Just letting you guys know, okay? Let me explain how it works. So this is the sun orbit, right? Okay, so it's just, this is the sun orbit-wise. So if let's just say, okay, let me get another, okay. I'm pretty sure you guys are smart. You already know what retrograde is. Let's just say this is Earth, but this is Saturn actually. So this is Mars, okay? So when it's evolving, because it's actually the vision, the perspective from our planet, it looks closer to us, okay? But it's not going reverse, okay? There's more into dimension into it. But um, the way easier to uh, uh, understand this is um, if it's farther from the sun, closest to us, it's in retrograde, okay? And it has more effect. It doesn't go reverse effect, but it has stronger karma because it's here. Okay, but it's all the perspective. It's it's a measurement. I'm not gonna go there, but just to give you guys a little bit of a thing or two. Okay, that's why for me retrograde planets are strong. Okay, it's very good actually. I don't uh, when the planet is retrograde, I like it because it's um it's the more that you can work with it, manifest with it. Yes. Okay. So let's see what's going on. Mm -hmm. Let's see. The reason why people also go in the re restructure, reinvent, you know, reconcile, re, you know, um, it's because it's a strong plan. It's a strong karma. So if you go, um, if you go with it during that time and you're not prepared for it, let me just move this, guys. And you're not prepared, then it's gonna be difficult for you. But if you are, if your frequency is able to handle it, it's a very good uh, energy. And that's the truth. Ace of Swords. So the Piscean over here right now is, um, I feel like can be um, looking for, 
Well, this is not because it's communication, right? You might want to talk to someone. You might feel like, oh, I, I need to have a word with them. And it's clear here that you're just addressing the truth. Okay. So there's the crown here, which of course that's victory, right? That's um, um, how to say this. Uh, that's why there's a crown. We always say it's like, oh, it's a victory card because every time you want, you win, then you get a crown. So in this communication, the truth is always the winner because the truth will set you free. It will give clarity to any kind of problem, and that's why we love the Ace of Swords. And this is coming on your end. Um, it appears that you want to clarify what um, has happened between the two of you. And of course, Mars is aggression. So there might be, okay, you couldn't handle your uh, your energy before. You felt like you were a boiling water, okay? And now it's showing that, okay, we did have some fight. You know, like I wasn't happy with what they said. And then arguments started to happen. And then shebangles, shebangles, you know, a breakup has happened. Now, this is them. This is their pride. I feel like you're already trying to talk to them. You're already trying to clarify the situation, but they refuse. Yeah, I feel like they're difficult. They're, and you're actually, you're trying to be the bigger person already. Yep, so it's about healing uh, a situation that went south very fast, okay? Because the um, Five of Swords, oh, if you guys are wondering, this, is a, this ring is coming soon. It's not yet available. Sorry, I forgot to mention. But this is a retilitated um, quartz. Okay. You guys can see it. Mm -hmm. Different sizes for this. Okay. So, Five of Swords and the um, the Star card. It looks like uh, someone wants to make peace, which is you. That's your sword. Um, but this person is, you know, like facing back from the sword, which means like they don't want to deal with it. The Star card also shows here that, um, let me see. Um, are you hopeful? You, I feel like you just want to clarify things. You know, hopeful is another uh, another word. But it does look like you're just um, trying to understand their perspective and your perspective and just make it work. So you're being a Pisces where, no, I just want them to be okay and then, you know, I'm fine. Okay, Stop it. All right. <laughs> uh, see, you're not going to be fine, Pisces. Mm. It does look like with the Five of Swords over here and then the Ten of Swords, um, you were betrayed, you found out the truth, and you brought it to their face. Um, but it does look like they were not, um, let's just say, you came to them like really, really head on with the truth. And, you know, they got nasty. You confronted them. Okay? You confronted them. So there was a separation, there's a breakup. And then now it looks like you want to make peace. This is also hope for reconciliation. Um, but I don't sense like you want to reconcile. I feel like you just want to have, uh, let you know, like when they say, we, you just wanted to end it really good on good terms. You sound like a celebrity. Mm -hmm. Yep, an apology, Page of Pentacles. You're being the bigger person by saying that you're sorry, even though it wasn't your fault. So you just want to ac admit to whatever it is. It's like, all right, well, if it's my fault, then I'm sorry. You know, you see there, um, there was really no fault there, but you're trying to accommodate, uh, you know, the, you know, how it has ended just so that the two of you will not have what they call bad blood. Okay. I don't know. If you go to Red Cross, if they ask, what type of blood do you have? Are you going to say, I got bad blood. Okay. <laughs> Type O, bad blood. No. So bad blood, screw that. <laughs> That's what I was, I know you're trying to make peace. But I feel like, well, this person is egoistic. So that's why for me it's like, nah. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. Page of Wands with Ace of Swords. Um, so it does look like uh, you have other dreams that you want to pursue right here. Because the page is uh, always thirsty for adventure. So you could be just clarifying things with them so that you can be on your way with your life. Yes, because uh, this person tries to make it look like you are at fault and you are the reason why they're suffering. Ten of Wands. Um, the relationship, of course, has a very, uh, how to say this, um, star card with the Hierophant. It was really destined, I feel, like to have some sort of union. You guys had that. 
um, you guys could have been married and now with the ten of swords that separation and then with the ten of wands it only means that the two of you um, I feel like they're saying that you gave up and in reality they were the burden so that's how I feel like this person likes to point fingers mm -hmm. mm. I like to point, but once, so you become a frog. No, I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> we don't turn people into frogs. That's too much for this person anyway. A roach. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> ten of pentacles. Um, so you got all the ten. So these are all outcome. These are all results. These are all finality. So the truth of the matter is, you guys had a relationship that's well celebrated, but there was so much betrayal. Okay. So much betrayal and this is why it ended you found out the truth that they were lying betraying you and then ten of pentacles you know even though you guys are invested and there was supposed to be some truth they were dishonest it became such a burden to them because they were holding a lot of facts truth be behind you and magician with the page of pentacles now you're smart of course which is good i love that you're smart now you've learned from this okay Pisces, you've learned from this let me use this card. Do you want this card? Or you, let me see. I think I want a backup. Get the backup. Let's see what's going on with the backup card. What else can we see? Seven of Swords. So sneaky little, you know, D I C K Y. I don't think I can say that, but it rhymes. Sneaky little, mm -hmm, little D. Mm -hmm. So um, a fly by night person. That's what you were dealing. Ace of Swords. Um, so you found out the truth that this person has been has has hidden so much things from you, very not good, and it make you also feel um, I feel like sad, like you know wasted in a way. Like why did I even bother to love this person when you know why would they do such? I don't understand when people are like this. Okay, like if you want to give love, give love. Don't deceive someone. I don't understand. Okay, like I'm a I, for me, love is love. Period. No matter what you are, if you're lucky, you come across me and I love you. Oh, you are loved, and there is no like seven of swords. Oh my god, Lee. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. You got the four of swords, and you tried to heal yourself from this. Yes, you tried to forget about it. You know, your strings are connected to the person. It means your heart strings are attached very sad okay you have the five of pentacles and the nine of swords oh my god Pisces what is going on why are you suffering here so this person totally did a number on you mm. you got the nine of swords five, left out in the cold have so much fears and stress you're trying to recover because you gave your heart to a person who has taken advantage of you ay 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 mm -hmm. that's a lot to take for a Tuesday. Okay. So, we're going to continue this read. You got Virgo, Gemini, Taurus, Aqua, Pisces. I don't know why I put Pisces there, but that's an earth sign. I know. Okay, but probably there's another Pisces over here. Um, you got some Leo. This is what I'm talking about. I'm just seeing here. Leo. Um, let me see what else I can see. Because you got the fire sign over here. You're going to be Sag or Aries. Okay. So, plus this is Scorpio. Mars, Aries, and Scorpio. Okay, so I'm going to continue this reading with your person of interest. I feel like I'll use this card for the energy of the universe and for the person of that you are interested in. I'll see what they're up to here with your masculine energy in the extended. Okay, so everything is going to be in the description box below. I'll put the planetary pouch in the comment uh, if you guys are interested. I still have this. I use it for my reads right now and it's very, very magical. All right, so... Thank you very much, Pisces, for watching. I'll see you on the other side. Bye.